Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the council. Uh, I have no idea where we're at right now, actually. But we're investigating Elizabeth Adams' death, so that's a start. Okay, uh, let me see. Let's recap where- Oh, there you are, Von Volner. I think we just got finished uh, raking you over the coals, because you weren't telling us everything. You had something to hide, didn't you, Mr. Von Volner? Everyone has something to hide now. Okay, let's go. Uh, who else can we question? We can question Napoleon Bonaparte. We can question Emily. We could probably question Holm, I guess. If we could actually get there. I don't know. Let's finish this floor off and then uh, we'll go on from there. Is this the right? Mm, let's go the other way. I think Emily's room is just over here. And go back into Emily's room. Again. But on purpose this time. Napoleon Bonaparte. Uh, sure. Why not? I mean, right? Oh, he's he's not looking so good. Let's see. Very nice. You mind if I take this? The Prince by Machiavelli. Mm -hmm. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hmm. That might come in handy. Napoleon had a little bit of ambition. Hey, Napoleon. How's your career going? Great so far, right? Hannibal crossing the Alps. Another military success. Yep. Why do I get nothing but visions of horror in my room? And he gets victory after victory? Well, I think it's sort of a, a sign there, Louis. Especially, well, I don't know. It was originally your mom's room. And from what I'm hearing about that, she might have been into that sort of thing. And let's see. What's this? It's a box. And another coin. Asistarse. Whatever that is. Another collector coin. I'm gonna be getting all these. I don't know what happens if you get all of them, but... Let's see. There's one holster in Bonaparte's gear. Hmm. And the pistol is missing. Hmm. On the other hand, his cleaning equipment is in mint condition. Hmm. That's typical of the soldier in it. Mm-hmm. His cleaning equipment is in mint condition. Alright, so does that mean he hasn't used it to clean anything lately? I mean, the pistol was there, and it was clean. It didn't show any signs of being fired. It's missing- I don't know, it could be his- And it did say the Liberator of France, which makes sense in this context, so- My dear, it's a beautiful weapon. A Levy Damask Blade. Mm -hmm. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Discovered immunity conviction. Ooh, very interesting. My dearest son. For Sai. I'm writing to him. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Power Lee continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. You're a loving mother. Maria Letizia Bonaparte. Is that why you're stressed out? Monsieur de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. Uh, true. Uh, question him over last night. Let's Did start you out. hear about young Elizabeth? Indeed. It is deeply regrettable. Lord Mortimer asked me to... I know. You no doubt want to know my alibi. Oh, yeah. I spent the night downstairs playing cards. With who? Who with? <laughs> okay, don't be so contrary. Uh, yeah. Can you tell me who was present at the game, please? Well, there were Lord Mortimer, President Washington, and Sir Gregory. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ah, and His Eminence Piaget as well. Excuse me, I nearly forgot him. Poor soul. Piaget was downstairs gambling with you? <laughs> Oh, I, I think I like Piaget. Anything unusual during the evening? Nothing at all, except the luck of the devil of Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory at cards. Did they win much? Oh la la, Monsieur, they cleaned it out <laughs> more like. But I plan on getting it all back before we leave. All right. Did anyone leave early? Did any of you leave during the game? Not that I know of, Monsieur. I didn't exactly spend my time noting the other guests' comings and goings, but I don't think so. You were playing cards with him. You surely would, you would notice if somebody left. 
Especially if they'd had a lot of your winnings and cleaned you out, as you'd said. Hey, what time did the game end? I can't say exactly. As for me, I must have stayed until midnight. I was exhausted who couldn't think straight. So I preferred to go up to bed. On was anyone bed, drinking? Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? No, not in the least. The whole manor was sound asleep. <laughs> not really. No. Okay, uh, question I remember last night. Do you own a pistol? As any good soldier would, I imagine you own a firearm. May I see it? Oh, well, if you really want to, here is my pistol. Don't worry, it is not loaded. Do you have several of these? In Corsica, we, oui, mm -hmm. but not on me when I am traveling. Only a bandit would carry such an arsenal. Thank you. Okay. Well, I shall we finish, monsieur. Exactly. Thanks again for all your answers. Good day. Doesn't seem likely that Napoleon would really be in on all this. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't really have a dog in that fight. Hmm. But Peru cannot account for the location of his weapon. If what Napoleon is saying is true, then that means uh, Peru and von Volner don't really have a solid alibi. But Holm and Mortimer and Washington do. Emily Hillsborough. Alright, Emily. Oh, very nice room. Very English. Couches. Very pretty girly room here, I'd say. Nothing on the mantle besides this note, which I cannot read for some reason. Another note. Dear e, I received your last letter. Unfortunately, the Crown informed the Golden Order that our mission should, under no circumstances, hamper Sir Gregory's plans. Decidedly, they have support from the highest level in Buckingham Palace. So here we both are, hands and feet tied, and little room to maneuver. Keep me abreast of events. Our mission is becoming more complicated. Yours, E. T.S. The French chapter of the Order doesn't appear to know anything about the arrival of our friend Sarah. I therefore cannot comment on it. However, my guess is that she has come here for personal reasons. Hmm. I wonder what their mission is, and I wonder what it has to do with home, and I wonder what home's doing. Also, hi Emily. I'm here on purpose this time. And I'm going to not steal your golden elixir because I already have enough, but thanks for the offer. Oh, a book. A letter from William the Younger addressed to Emily. Ooh. He's the present Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Wow. Emily has indeed some powerful backers. Madam. There we go. Thank you for consoling the Queen. The King's situation is worsening, but I wager he'll recover from this present fit. Next time you speak with Her Majesty the Queen, would you please be so kind as to ask her to look into my petition to raise taxes with the King? I will personally see to it that our nation will recover from this impasse. But... King George's mental situation is slowing down our decision taking. Thank you in advance for all your help. William Pitt, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Hmm. Politics, politics. You can inform Duchess, you can inform King Joyce of the Holy Father's backing. We shall assist you with the financing and the recruitment of regiments and immigrant royalists to fight against France. His eminence, uh, something. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, what? The Holy Father's backing, we shall assist you with the financing, the recruitment of the regiments, and the immigrant royalists to fight against France. Piaggi? Okay. Apparently, Piaggi, uh, is... I don't know what nationality Piaggi even is. Uh, I might want to look that up, but apparently he's not on the William France Pitt side here. William Pitt, Count of Chatham. So she did something for Willie here, and then he set her up with the Duke of Hillsborough, which means she became the Duchess. Hmm, very interesting. And now we move on to Emily herself. Well, look at this stuff first. Oh, wow. Oh, this looks great. Awesome. Hi, Emily. How's it going? What can I do for you, Louis? 
I've come to see you about last night's tragedy. Did you hear anything about what happened to Elizabeth? Yes. yes, we all did. Did you do it? Rumors spread quickly, you know. How awful. Mm -hmm. I didn't know her well, but I hope at least the poor thing didn't suffer too much. Stabbed nine times, don't you worry. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'll exploit her vulnerabilities, you know. Be assured of that. If such a senseless act can happen here, then none of us is truly safe anywhere. Lord Mortimer must be mortified that one of his guests could have committed such an act, don't you think? He is indeed very upset about it. Mm -hmm. It's only natural after such a violent murder. Violent? What do you mean? Elizabeth was stabbed nine times. Oh my god, Louis. How awful. Mm. The murderer must have had a serious grudge against her to set upon her like that. It must have been a crime of passion. Von Volner. Do you know what happened exactly? In fact, Lord Mortimer has asked me to look into this case, Emily. Mm -hmm. Really? Are you Lord Mortimer's snoop now? I am a detective. I'm doing it for Elizabeth, not to please Mortimer. Good for you. Quite right, too. Have you found out anything? Uh, where was she last night? What was her relationship with Elizabeth? Others. Alright. Where were you on the night of the murder? All the guests to establish the alibis for each person. Just so that I can cross you off the list of suspects, can you tell me what you were doing on the night of the murder? Where were you? to understand that I'm on the list of suspects. We're on an island. Don't take it the wrong way, but I must <laughs> consider every possible. You're on the island too. Well, if you absolutely wanted to be sure of my activities that evening, you only had to join me, you know. Woman? I know, Emily. Especially since I couldn't prevent the murder, even though I spent part of the evening with Elizabeth. You're... you're sure it's not too hard to bear for you? Yeah, maybe if you wouldn't rub is, it in. I don't have a choice. Hmm? But I will find the murderer. I owe Elizabeth that, at least. Okay, what was your relationship with Elizabeth? And also, you didn't tell me where you were. Did you and Elizabeth get to know each other? I must admit, Louis, I... I didn't take much interest in her. I feel a bit guilty about it, but I never actually spoke to her. She seemed burdened by her problems, and as she wasn't invited to the conference, I didn't really seek her out. Others? Speak to her about her correspondence with Piaggi. The dagger was held by the hand of a woman. Uh, I feel like it was my mom, but I need to ask her about everything. Just to leave it. I don't know. These two things point to my mother more than they point to her, so let's I hear go with that first. Discussions with the Holy See. Oh, either his eminence can't keep his tongue from wagging, or you've been poking your nose where you shouldn't, I've sir. been given permission to you do so. Emily. You're raising a royalist army. Mm -hmm. That's no small matter. And you are straying from the subject. Is there anything else you wanted to ask me? Ah, uh, fine. We found the murder weapon. What is it? A dagger. Quite slim. Oh, yes. Have you found its owner? Not yet. Still searching as it happens. That said... Since a blade penetrated the body several times, the murderer's hand will have been covered in blood. You think that's a clue? The handprint was a very slender hand, Emily. Probably that of a woman. Do you realize what that means? There are only three of us on the island. Mm -hmm. Bearing in mind that neither my sister nor myself had any reason to set upon the young lady, that means... Yep. I know, Emily. I know. Mm -hmm. Keep up your courage, Louis. I'm sure there's an explanation. You're bound to shed some light on it all. If what you say is true, Emily, I'm less and less enthusiastic about shedding any light on the subject. Louis, your mom is weird. I found a At torn best. piece of dress in the At worst, room. she's a brutal murderer. Silk. Where's it from? That's what I'm trying to find out. The color doesn't match any of Elizabeth's dresses, but I might not have found all of her clothes yet. Good Lord, Louis. I... Do you realize what this means? Mm -hmm. If this piece of dress isn't from Elizabeth, then it's... I don't have any grey silk dresses, Louis. Neither does my sister, since we wear the same clothes. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted to check with you. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, Louis. Thank you. Are you all right? You know, I'm sure there's a good reason why your mother was at the scene. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Emily. All right, I think that's it. So we've got Emily, Georgie, we got, uh, we haven't gotten Piaggi yet. Oh, that's right, Napoleon said that Piaggi was at the scene. I might be able to ask him about the card, uh, the cards. 
I can't check out on Piaggi either, which is odd. So I can't ask Piaggi about that. Darn it. I want to confirm this alibi here, but you guys aren't letting me. I think it's probably about time to try to head upstairs. See what I can get done there. Sorry, there isn't too much to this one yet. Pretty much just going around and questioning people. I feel like I should be able to question home on this. Just saying. It's another coin. Oh, key with an occult water symbol. Okay. Home. Hey, home. Where are you? Hi. You're... You... You're a bird. That's cool. Hey, Mortimer, where's, uh, where, where's home? Can I just take this off of his desk? I feel weird taking this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, Mortimer. Morty. Morto. Hey, how's it going? I've come I to speak here. about the findings of the investigation, my lord. Yeah. I'm listening, Louis. Okay. I don't like you. I have a culprit, I have clues, but prefer not to accuse anyone. Okay, so is this like clue or something? Remind me of the facts we already know. I have clues, but prefer not to accuse anyone. Uh, I'll go with that I'm for now. I'm sorry, my lord, but... I don't have any evidence conclusive enough to allow me to name the culprit with certitude. Really? I see. Well, that's your decision, Louis, and I accept it. Was that Given my decision? Given the distinguished guests and the sensitive political issues involved at the conference, I trust you'll leave me to conclude the case in my own way. I mean, right. it seems logical. It's time we spoke about your mother. She isn't missing, she isn't hiding, she does it often. I'd say she's in hiding. She seems to be making every effort to steer clear of your guests. Mm -hmm. what, what do you mean? For the past few weeks, my mother's been playing cat and mouse, if you will. Yep. I don't know why, but it wouldn't surprise me to learn that she's trying to avoid someone. The question is, who? Mm -hmm. And in your opinion, would she be the cat or the mouse? Ooh, I would say the cat. She, uh, she seems to have, uh, played a huge part in the murder of Elizabeth. Knowing my mother, she would be the cat. Well, that doesn't make me feel any better, Louis. Really. What was the official reason why my mother came to your island? I knew about your mother's activities and yours in the Golden Order. Mm -hmm. I thought we had everything to gain by working together. You mean the cannon deal with Monsieur Bonaparte? Among others, yes. Mm -hmm. How did you hear about that? He told me. Monsieur Bonaparte came to speak to me about it yesterday, during lunch. I see. So impetuous. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to let me speak to you about it first. Our friend Napoleon desperately needed financial backing to properly equip his army. I took it upon myself to back him, because I have a firm conviction that he can go far. Yet he told far, me yes, that but not far enough. and that you hadn't been able to reach an understanding. Hmm. That's putting it mildly. Monsieur Bonaparte is one of those guys who only understands people who think like he does. He's just one of those oh, guys. I see what you mean. He is indeed rather inflexible when it comes to certain subjects. But I am still of the opinion that you can manage to get along. Perhaps. We shall see. However, there's one thing that surprises me. I help a lieutenant. Isn't Bonaparte a bit young to deserve so much attention? Well, you come straight to the point. I like that. Indeed, if you knew just how much you remind me of him. Trust me, I'll wager that Monsieur Napoleon will I'm way handsomer and cooler. I'm working on it, at least. I don't like you. Once this deal was closed, I had big plans for Sarah. Sarah Such had as big what? plans for you herself. You see, I've invited several influential figures on my island to present them with a project at the conference. Mm -hmm. It will be presented later today. I thought that the Golden Order had a role to play. 
And I still think so. Okay. I was hoping Sarah would be able to join us. Hmm. I see. Indeed, if by chance your mother decided not to return to us before the conference, would you do me the great honor of attending? Wouldn't if miss only it. to follow the deliberations while waiting for her to duly take her seat. Why not? We shall see. Ah, thank you so much. In this way, you'll be able to keep your mother informed of what he said. Um, there's something else I'd like to briefly go over. Earlier, that? you asked me the official reason for your mother's presence here. Yeah. Is there an off-the-record reason why your mother came here? She was looking for a buyer, no? I have absolutely no idea. Why would I say she was looking for a buyer? Oh, I don't if know anything. Only my mother trusted me, but she remained very mysterious. I'd have been delighted to answer your question. Is this usual for her? Yeah. As head of the order, mm -hmm. secrets are her bread and butter, as you can imagine. That said, it's the first time she hasn't let me in on the reason for her trip. Really? And it intrigues me, to tell you the truth. Well, I'm sure that Sarah will explain everything. Murder was again. the reason for her trip. It's something That's I what she didn't tell you. Get. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? Maybe she's wary of someone, she might have discovered something, maybe she's lost her mind. Well, I have no doubt that that's true, but I would say she might have discovered something would probably be the most likely reason for it. Maybe she found something out. What do you mean? I don't know. My mother has a gift for investigating. <laughs> if she had picked up a lead, nothing would have stopped her. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of her stay here, we enjoyed spending time together, solving the world's problems. Dad, no. Enough about her! What if I disappear? Okay. What did you speak about together? You seem to know my mother very well, my lord. What did you talk about together? Oh, as soon as we had a little free time, we liked to share points of view about practically any subject. Mm -hmm. We would find ourselves embarked on interminable discussions that could go from Monsieur Blanchard's flight in a hot air balloon to the Treaty of Jesse, or the adoption wow. of the metric system in France last year, or even Mr. Eli Whitney's invention in the United States. Fascinating. <laughs> I can't go over any of these, so... My mother must have undoubtedly taken great pleasure in these exchanges. Mm -hmm. She always was one to appreciate broadening her knowledge. I'm surprised she didn't get you started on the Crusades. It was her favorite subject. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you joking? Sarah and I spent entire days together reliving them. It so happens that the Crusades are also my subject. Did you guys, were you guys, you know... My ancestor distinguished himself brilliantly during the siege of saint jean d'Arc. Really? Oh, well apparently I know nothing of the Crusades. Unfortunately, my lord, the Crusades are not my chosen field. Well, it doesn't matter. You have plenty of time to learn. Oh, yes. Your mother is a very well-read woman. Oh, she loves Quite to read. lucky to have her as a model of me. Yes, I know. But I'm still very worried. I must admit, there are... Worse things to worry about now, Louis. Like how what she was involved in the murder? Since she disappeared, your mother has been seen once. Her behavior on the evening of your arrival greatly surprised Gregory and myself. Hmm. She resurfaced to attack Emma, Emily Hillsborough's twin sister. What? And she shot her with a pistol. Then, before Gregory could intervene, she ran off and disappeared. Again. You're just now I telling me this? Pardon? Hang on. That means my vision on the dwarf, it, it was actually happening inside the manor. Oh. Another shot Emily's sister? The very person she came looking for? Why would she do that? Excuse me, but between that and the childhood of Lady Adams, it's it's all a bit much for me to cope with. Does Emily know about I this? I need to piece it all together again to see things like, does Emily, more clearly. Uh, em there's no you way that Emily that knows. We spent a lot of time talking together at the beginning. What happened for that to change? I'm afraid I, I haven't much to tell you. The more the days went by, the more she withdrew into herself. She never gave me an explanation. I am very suspicious came, of you right now, sir. Disappeared. 
Where, where did she go when she wanted to be alone? She would shut herself away in a room we use as a box room upstairs. That's, that's Would weird. you allow me to go there? Naturally, Louis, of course. I'll send you a servant to open it. Thank you. I'm sorry, where is One it? One last thing. Although, I don't know if there is a connection. I'm listening. A gate was forced the other night near the wall. Mm. Nothing serious, just a few small uh, things down I have no idea what might have happened. Uh, I can excuse myself or lie to him. Uh... Mm, I'll be honest. Sorry, my lord, uh, but I was searching for leads to my mother. I thought I was hot on her trail and didn't take any precautions. Well, you could have reported it to a servant. Sorry. <laughs> but never mind. I shall put it down to your ardor and anxiety. Thanks, However, man. Please try to respect my estate in future. I certainly will. Please accept my sincerest apologies. That's all I can tell you about the disappearance Sorry. of your mother, Louis. I would like to have been more helpful. I shall stay on her trail and follow up any leads. Thank you. Uh, we will meet later on to welcome our last guest. In the meantime, Who? we shall get someone to open the box. Is that the other guy, Godfrey? Thank you. Thanks. Nice, bro. Hmm. The room is just opposite Mortimer's study. Oh, this one? Okay. Uh, here we go. I don't see any boxes. Some harps. Priceless vases. Candelabras. What's this? There are burnt papers in the chimney. Are they in lemon juice? Is there blood? There's a legible fragment left. Hey. I recognize my mother's handwriting. Seems logical. She says, we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Hmm. Who could it be? Napoleon. Napoleon has Who a sword. Be suspicious of. I must find the next part. Faith, sword. I recognize her love of riddles there. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. Well, Piaggi is a man of the faith, and Napoleon is a man with the sword. But Piaggi got here on the same day that I did. Which means Mother was still missing at that point. But Napoleon got there before or after? Didn't he get there after we did? The man with the sword. Hmm. Hmm. Neh, <laughs> neh. The door appears yeah. to be locked on the other side. Mm -hmm. Well, I could just break it open the way I, uh, the way I usually do. But, uh, oh. I think I heard something fall to the ground. A metallic sound, like, like a key falling to the floor. Well, I could force the door, but I just got finished apologizing to uh, Mortimer. So, I'm going to say, how do you open it? Let's try to think about it. The key that fell on the floor. The door was closed from the inside. The mother provided something within reach to recover it? Hmm. Seems logical. Okay. Let's try to let's try to do something. Uh, let's see. Nothing on the floor here. Paintings. Ropes, a stick, perhaps. Um, what's this? What is this disc? I don't know. Take it. A lodestone. Oh, like a magnet. Let's see. Yes, Louis. We already know that the door is locked. Uh, use the disc. We'll see if it works. Sweet. Nice job, Louie. Nice job not breaking things. It's open. Keen observation, my boy. Keen observation. Man. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Vinny. Okay. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. 
their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Mom, perhaps? Hmm. What's this? Uh, sofa Like a philosophy book? Absurd. St. John. Painted by Guido Rini. Seems to be a pattern here. Apostles and saints and Guido Rini. The New Testament. I guess I'll just come back later. Great. Honey. More honey. St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. In spite of the painting, he's not an evangelist. What? Of the four apostles shown in this piece, Paul is the only one who isn't an evangelist. He is the 13th apostle. Mm-hmm. St. Paul point? is shown holding a sword. The man with the sword. Trust me, the man with the sword. There's hardly any dust. Has been cleaned recently. Take it off There's the wall. A small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Okay. Just above that, someone's written down the figure eleven on the painting, and underlined it twice. Now, what does that mean? The eleventh apostle. Sum up the information. So we have thing. the figure eleven, twice underlined, and a story of a group of pilgrims who it looks like Paul is speaking to. Okay. Maybe it's a code. There, there must be a connection. A text on Paul must be somewhere, and it must be associated with the figure 11. But okay. what's the story with these pilgrims? I mean, a connection with the figure, maybe? Great. So we go back over here to this book, and let's see. Epistles of Paul. Uh, let's see. Let's try the Epistle of Hebrews. Eleven underlined twice. Let's try chapter eleven, verse eleven. Let's try I say it. then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. Oh, wait, a note from mother is carefully folded ah. between the pages here. Great. What does it say? Dear E, mm -hmm. I'm glad you found this note. I was afraid the code of the two groups of pilgrims would mislead you. Pick up the package. You know where and hide it where no one will find it. It's imperative. Oh, Awaiting your reply. Hidden behind the youngest apostle. What? The youngest apostle? What does mother mean by that? John. John was the youngest apostle. Uh was it this one? Uh observe the painting. Saint John. John. He's the youngest apostle. Painted by Guido Rini. Scrutinize. The painting looks like it's been taken down recently. Mm -hmm. But wasn't my mother said that she would wait for an answer hidden behind the apostle? Ah, of course. There's something written behind the painting. Okay. On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? Okay. C could you think about the code? Think about the figures. They should add a companion to their left and three to their right to complete their ranks. Okay. I imagine it applies to their code, the one mother set up with the pilgrims. What's this? The group of pilgrims who Paul was talking to, and now John is telling them prophecies? Okay. Okay. Uh, epistles of Paul. Wait, go back to the beginning. Book of Revelation, which John wrote. Chapter Chapter 12, verse 14. And the woman was given ha! two wings of a great eagle Boom. that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and a half okay. time from the face of the serpent. Hey, there you go. And folded carefully in the corner of this page. The writing, it, it, it's not my mother's. Okay. S. I found the book in your effects. I've concealed it where no one can get their hands on it. I can assure you. Okay. Waiting your instructions, I will hear your reply like he who hears the angel. Here's the angel? What does that mean? Oh, 
It's probably the place where she was expecting to get the location of the next note. The angel, which is over here. How how, how many times are we gonna do this? Observe the painting. Look at the frame. There's something else behind this painting. It says half of each group will join the first city of Corinth. Okay. What Twelve, fourteen, so six, seven Corinthians, six, seven. First group at Corinth, did you say? First Corinthians, six, seven. <laughs> Great. Yeah. There now we go. <laughs> there is utterly a fault among you, because ye go to law with one another. Why do ye not rather suffer injustice? Why do ye not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Mm -hmm. Ah, look. Here's a message. It is of paramount importance that no one finds it. Watch out for the Prussian. Prussian. He's on the trail. Let's meet up. I'll leave it to you to organize the rendezvous. Not today. I'm unable to do it. In the meantime, I'll follow the first group to Mark, who will reveal the answer to them. And that first group of pilgrims, how many are there now? If I refer to the chapter I'm reading at the moment, six. So Mark? Mark six? Was Mark in here? <laughs> this was... Who was this? Look at the frame. Oh. There's nothing worth noticing here. Really? Inspect the surroundings? The candlestick, the chest of drawers, dusty piece of furniture behind the painting? It's too cumbersome for me to unhook here. But judging by the dust, it hasn't been moved for months, if not years. Okay. Candlestick? No. Nothing of value here. Chest Those of drawers? Engraved on the chest of drawers under the urn. Okay. The sentence in Hebrew. I don't know how to read Hebrew. Uh, let's see. Inspect the surroundings. There are finger marks. Deliberately drawn in the dust. Eight in all. Okay. Eight. I don't know what else to do, so Mark... Was there a Mark 8? It is Hebrew. <laughs> chapter, si chapter 6, verse 8. Duh! That's okay. Bear thorns and briars yeah. Rejected, okay. And is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Here's a message. Okay, finally. There are some complications. Indeed, the Prussian is insistent. What's happening at your end? Guys, please stop. If tonight is not possible, let's see tomorrow evening in the south room where we reviewed the situation. When Paul understood that only the acts counted, he went back on his tracks. I await your confirmation to his left in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. Yeah. This last comment is about their code. I should find new pilgrims near Paul. Okay, so that would be... He stopped in his tracks. That's the painting in here, isn't it? St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Yep. Examine the frame. Two representations in the same frame. This painting has been hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust is built up on it. Mm -hmm. Well, a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. I can read the number four. So, Acts four? That's what I'm guessing. Okay. How many times am I going to have to do this, Mom? Alright, the only thing I can think of is just go over all of them and see if any one of and them he became very hungry is the one. And would have eaten, but while they were made ready, he found okay. a trance. Hey, there's a note here. Okay, apparently that was the a right one. From mother and reply to e. We must leave urgently, but first I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare. Watch out for Volner. He figured out I was avoiding him. Volner. A lay suspicion. See you tomorrow evening. Stand ready. For now, let's cease all communication until we meet. Take care of yourself. I suppose this must be the last message. What happened afterward? If it's what I suspect, I, I fear the worst. What did Mother mean by, I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare? <laughs> I must go beyond the nightmare. What does she mean by that? I have no idea. It's probably allegorical, it's probably literal. Probably allegorical, right? I'm guessing it's a metaphor. I need 
need to figure out what this means. Mortimer's getting his guests together. I ought to join them so I don't look suspicious. Sounds good. All right, I think I'm going to stop the recording there. Uh, so there really wasn't much uh, as far as story or commentary to really go on by that. I was just pretty much figuring out what Mom was doing. As far as theories go, I'm pretty much guessing it was Mom. And I think Von Volner might have been in the room as well. Maybe he was trying to protect Elizabeth and Mom was trying to kill her for some reason. But then again, we really don't have all the facts in our hands right now. So, I don't know. We'll just see how things unfold. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.